In this video, I'm going to show you where you'll need to go to upload logos in various places on your website. To receive notifications about new tutorials and our weekly live stream, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have a pro or advanced account, you have the ability to upload logos in several places on your site. The main four places that users will upload logos to are the homepage, the header, the footer, and on mobile. There are some other options too that we'll get into. To begin, you'll want to prep your logo for upload. It is important that it is cropped tightly to the words with little white space. You'll also want to make sure it is a color that will stand out against the background of the areas you're going to upload it to. For example, if your header is white, then you'll want to make sure you're not uploading a white logo, or it will all blend together. Lastly, you'll need to check the file type. It's recommended that you upload a transparent PNG. The size isn't as important as it'll be resized to fit the layout. Once the logo is ready to go, you'll want to head to Website, and then Customize Website. In Customize Website view, we'll need to decide where all we want to upload the logos. Most often, you will find a logo on the home page. To upload here, you'll need to be on the home page in Customize Website view, click Options at the top, go to Page Elements, make sure the home page logo is set to show, go to the Logo tab, Upload, and Apply. One important thing to note is that if you have a site header set to show rather than the home page logo, you'll probably want to skip uploading a home page logo because you can upload one to the site header itself instead. Now for the site header, you'll want to go to a page that is displaying your site header. This is usually any page but the home page. Then you'll want to go to site header in the bottom left corner. Make sure you're using either layout A or B. Go to the logo tab, upload, and apply. For the site footer, it is a very similar process. The only thing that might be tricky here is finding pages that actually display your footer. If you want to check if your footer is displayed, try going to any page and go to options at the top. Go to the page elements tab and make sure show page footer is set to show. Then you can go to site footer in the bottom corner and repeat the steps from what you did in the header. The mobile logo can be found in the site settings. For this, Go to the Site Settings link in the bottom left, then go to the Logos and Icons tab. You'll want to scroll down just a bit until you see Mobile Logo. Choose the Upload Logo Image button, Upload, and then Apply. For this, you will need to publish the changes to your site before you will be able to see it on mobile to test it out. Now back in the Mobile Logo area, you'll see there are some other logos you can upload too. First is the Quick Shop logo. By default, it will resize whatever you have uploaded to the header, so it may not be necessary to upload anything here, unless there is a new style of logo you'd like to use. The web browser icon is similar to a logo, but a little bit different. This is the little icon that will show with the page title in your browser. Uploading a regular logo won't be possible here, but you can create a 16 by 16 file and upload that. If you're someone who uses the pre-order feature, available to those at the advanced account level, you can upload a logo for that here as well. But this is another one that will automatically use your header logo if one is uploaded, so it may not be totally necessary. Lastly, if you're someone who is uploading videos to Zenfolio, you may consider uploading a video player logo on the next tab down. This will show almost like a watermark over top of the video to avoid screenshots. My name is Kayla with Zenfolio Customer Support. Thanks for watching and good luck with adding logos to your website.